Welcome back to The Lowdown on Physics. This is screencast number three in a series on radiation for Unit 1 VCE Physics. Today we will be looking at the properties of radiation. So just to begin with, I want to have a quick look at a definition, something that we've talked about in Year 9 and 10 Science, but I want to relate it to the context of radiation. Now this definition is for ionization and this occurs when you've got high energy charge particles uh, such as alpha rays or beta rays or gamma rays and they're going to knock electrons off a neutral atom. What the result will be is that we get a positively charged atom, that's what we call an ion and hence the name ionization and we get free electrons, the electrons that get knocked off are there on their own. Now the reason that I just introduced this, we're going to talk about uh, their ion, ionization ability and their penetration ability. Um, and also when we talk about detecting it, ionized air is more conductive to electrical currents. So that's a property that we use to determine it, but we'll talk more about that next screencast. So I want to just quickly summarize their ionization and penetration abilities. Um, all of them are coming from the nucleus of the radioisotope, but they all come with very distinct different properties, and that's something that we can use to help determine what type of uh, radiation it is that's being emitted. So if we start with alpha radiation, then um, Basically, it's a double positive charge. There's two protons in an alpha particle. And we're talking about an interaction or a collision with an electron. So because of that attraction between positive and negative, we're going to have loads of um, interactions, loads of ionization encounters. So the ionization ability is quite high for alpha radiation. As a consequence, though, it every interaction is going to slow that particle down. It loses energy with every ionization. So it has very low penetrability. For beta radiation, now it has a negative charge that's repelled by electrons but it's also moving with high energy. So there are going to be collisions but less than there will be with alpha radiation. So we'd say that that probably has more like a medium ionization ability. And as a result, because it's undergoing less ionizations per centimeter, it's going to penetrate much further. And finally, gamma radiation. It has no charge and it's moving at the speed of light. So there's fairly few collisions that are going to occur. As a result, it has quite a low ionization ability but it penetrates to great depth. So got just a diagram here to help put that into context. We've got alpha particles, high ionization, it's happening with the air frequently. So if you put your hand in the way, it's not going to penetrate through your hand. In fact, if you put a piece of paper there, that's going to block nearly the, the bulk of any alpha radiation that's being emitted. Beta would penetrate through your body and it would take something like maybe a thin sheet of aluminium to stop that. Gamma radiation straight through, straight through the aluminium as well and through the lead. It has to be quite a thick piece of lead to stop all the gamma radiation penetrating through. Now because of the differences in, their in, in each of these particles, the way that they respond to a magnetic field is also different. Now alpha and beta particles are both charged. As a result, they're both going to be deflected because charged particles interact with magnetic fields. We'll explain how that occurs in Unit 4, but all you need to know for now is that it does happen. But because we have a positive charge and a negative charge, they're going to deflect in different directions. Now what we need to remember is alpha has twice the amount of charge, two protons, a beta only has one electron, so the alpha should therefore deflect twice as far. Gamma radiation has no charge, it should pass through undeflected. 
So to look at that diagrammatically, gamma rays are going to pass through a magnetic field without any deflection. In this, in this case, we've got beta rays that are going to deflect to the right. The alpha particles will deflect left, but they're also going to deflect twice as far as the beta particles did. Okay, that's it for now, so I'll see you in class.